what I have here is a Honda Civic engine. Uh, it's a 2002 D17 A1, and Honda actually updated the t timing belt tensioner and made it thicker than the old one. And because of that, they also had to update the timing belt tensioner bolt. Unfortunately, though, the person who changed this timing belt before didn't use the longer updated bolts and they also might have over tightened the bolt and what that ended up causing is the thread to be stripped out of the timing tensioner bolt hole in the block so what I'm going to be doing today is using a time cert kit uh, part number 1012 with a 14 millimeter insert to replace those damaged threads. Okay, so what I have here is um, the drill bit included in the time cert kit on my tap wrench. And uh, I'm going to actually be drilling this by hand because the drill doesn't fit in the chuck of my drill. It's about uh, 0.4 inches in diameter and uh, the chuck in my drill is just too small. And I'm going to be using some cutting fluid, cutting and tapping fluid to lubricate the drill as I uh, drill out that hole. Okay, so as you can see I've finished drilling the hole by hand, removing the old threads and uh, completely bottoming out the drill bit and now we have a fresh hole in the block to start with um, I'm going to be putting on the um, counter boring bit included in the kit and uh, what this is going to do is it's going to put a seat right here at the base where the uh, timing belt tensioner sits to recess the insert uh, so I'm going to put this on my tap wrench right now and uh, finish this up drilling the hole by hand was really pretty easy the drill bit is really sharp and uh, it bites into this aluminum without any real effort so it wasn't that difficult at all to do it by hand. I don't know if you can see it, but it's cutting into the block here. Oh, you can see the chips coming out. And you're supposed to just continue doing this until the bit bottoms out and uh, doesn't cut anymore so I'm using a a little bit of force pressing the bit against the block and rotating it let me blow out the chips here Okay, so I finished the counter boring operation here. It's a little slow going, but not impossible to do. It just cut very little with each turn, so it took a while. But now that that's done, there is a uh, lip there cut into the hole where the top part of the insert is going to sit. And uh, it should end up flush with the uh, surrounding surface here. Next.
next I'm going to be using the tap that comes with the uh, kit. I just could create the threads in the block for um, the threaded insert that's going to go in. And again, I'll use some cutting oil on this uh, tap before I start cutting away. I'm going to do it by hand with my tap wrench. Okay, so I finished tapping my hole with the tap. And here we have the newly drilled tap hole for our insert. And uh, I don't know if you can see the threads in there, but they're fresh cut threads and it looks brand new. And here is the insert that I'm going to be putting in. It's a stainless steel. And uh, once I get this in, um, it should be like new. First, you got start threading it in to the hole here by hand then uh, get the driver tool oil it up and thread it into the insert and it will finish uh, installing it got the driver threads oiled Hang on. so the time cert should uh, go all the way into the hole which it looks like it has and the driver should continue on oh hit the crank. Okay, so I've put in another tap wrench to clear the crank here. I'm just going to continue driving this down. And now it's tightened up. And supposedly you just keep going. Oh, it's tight. To, uh, seat the insert. I'm going to have to do this with both hands. So I finished uh, using the driver tool to install the threaded insert and the repair is complete. You can see that the insert sits below the surrounding surface here. Um, with my driver tool I ended up putting a piece of tape around the uh, driver tool 20 millimeters from the end to make sure it didn't bottom this driver tool out in the hole it took quite a bit of force to get the uh, insert fully installed but that's done and uh, I want to show you the difference between the bolts that Honda used this is the original bolt that was put into this motor when it, it was built by Honda but since then Honda updated the bolt and this is a new bolt this is the one you want to use you want to go to your dealer if you have a 2001-2002 motor with uh, this black bolt here because you want to get the silver bolt that's a little bit longer to provide for more thread engagement and uh, prevent this sort of thing from happening so there you go and you can see the, thread, the bolt easily threads into the new threads there so this should uh, fix the problem I had with the torn out threads.